This video is for the painting contractor out there who maybe has a few guys, you run a good business, but you're working a little more than you'd like to, you're not making as much money as you'd like to, and I wanna break down how you can run a five or $600,000 business, make 150 or $200,000 a year, and really take control of your time and not be overworked anymore. So you don't need to be someone who wants to go and build a two or $3 million company. Some people want that, but some people also wanna just build a really good, clean business that's really profitable, that you love doing, and you just wanna improve it. And so we're gonna start by just breaking down the numbers of what does a five or $600,000 painting company look like, and how do you make 150 to $200,000 a year in profit? So let's look at the numbers. All right, so the first thing we wanna look at is we, at the top line, we've got $600,000 in revenue. Then for this kind of business, we're gonna be aiming for $300,000 in your labor and material costs. So you might be using employees, in which case your labor to your employees plus your materials would be $300,000. Or if you're using subcontractors and they're buying materials, the total paid to subcontractors is $300,000. Or it would be a combination of maybe you're buying materials and you're paying your subcontractors, but the total would be $300,000. On this business plan, we would also wanna spend and budget for about $30,000 a year in marketing, because when you are the person who's doing the estimates and managing the projects, you're much more likely to get a lot more business from word of mouth and referrals, so your marketing costs are typically gonna be lower. So we're gonna budget for 5%, although it could be even lower than that if you're doing a really phenomenal job. And then finally, we have $70,000 budgeted for overhead, which includes insurance, vehicles, training development and consulting, meals, entertainment, office costs, accounting, maybe some tools and equipment, but we really wanna be protective of our overhead so that doesn't balloon and make our business less profitable. So that's what the numbers look like to actually build a $600,000 business that makes you around $200,000 in net profit. So now, how do we actually get there? Well, if we think back to the numbers, the first thing is that we've got 50% of our total revenue going to labor and materials, which means we need to be dialed in with our estimating so that we're pricing our jobs high enough that we can pay 50% of the total job to labor and materials. And that amount we're paying to labor needs to be a good wage so we can attract really great employees or subcontractors to work for the business. So estimating is one thing that we need to get really dialed in on in order to build this kind of business. The second thing is you've got to get really, really good with your sales process. And this is a huge advantage for a business owner because naturally, as a business owner, your sales rate is going to be a lot higher than someone who doesn't own the business. So you have a huge advantage being the person who's actually showing up and delivering the estimates as the owner and you're gonna oversee the project. But you really do need to develop a strong sales process where you should be able to win 75 to 80% of your bids, um, even if those aren't referrals. And of course, if they're referrals, it should be even higher and we need to win those, those jobs at these high margins. As you grow your business and you get more and more referrals and you invest more in marketing, you can start to be pickier about the type of jobs you do, which drives up your average job size, making it easier and easier to get to your desired revenue. So if we break down that $600,000 a year into weekly numbers, it's really only about $15,000 a week, assuming there's some seasonality. That means it's maybe three book jobs a week, no more than six estimates a week, book three jobs a week for 15,000. If our prices are right, we have a couple of really great subcontractors who have a few guys who produce all of that work, or we've got a few crews, maybe four or five guys who produce all of that work and do a really amazing job. So the last skill we gotta get really good at is project management, which means we're recruiting, hiring great people, whether they're painters or subcontractors. And when you hire great people, you should be able to give them a lot more responsibility. When you do that, that frees up your time. All right, so this is, these are really the skills that you need to start to learn. I'll recap some of them. We need to get good at marketing so we know how to bring customers in or create a lot more referrals. We need to get good at estimating to make sure we're pricing properly for our margins. We need to get good at sales and there's a lot of opportunities to improve on sales. We need to get good at project management, attracting the right people, being really organized with the schedule to minimize problems, babysitting and micromanaging because that's what eats up a lot of people's time. And then finally, we gotta get really good with the business plan tracking financials, staying organized with customer information, payroll, and kind of this organizational aspect of being a business owner. And when you get really dialed in at the, this small set of skills, you can run a really great business and make really great money. So that's one thing that we do at Painting Business Pro is we train painting contractors 
to build these necessary skills because if you do want to build a two or three million dollar company, it starts with get, getting really good at the foundation. And so that's the where we start with everybody and then it's up to you, hey, do I want to start building a team and going further or am I really satisfied with just this really healthy, profitable business that I just happen to love?